Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And this week's haul video is going to be the items that I have purchased throughout the month of January. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of shopping or a whole lot of ordering. Um, so I decided to just kind of wait and do it all at one time in one video for the whole month. Anyway, I have some drugstore items and I have um, a couple items from Sephora. So I will start with the drugstore and um, also will let you know that some of these items I have used so I have a little bit of an opinion on them. And also you're going to have to excuse the stuffiness. My husband and I have come down with a cold again, so not fun. But it's that time of year, so anyway, um, we'll start with this little product here. I got this from Walmart. This is the Swispers Exfoliating Cotton Rounds. I've been talking about the ones from Ulta, but I was at Walmart, so I just decided to buy these. And I like these because, just like the name of them say, they are exfoliating, meaning they have a rough texture on this one side and then a smooth or a quilted texture on this side. I just like to use this, um, the rough texture of the morning when I use my toner because it really helps to get all of that dirt that has accumulated on your face at night from um, your skincare products and things like that. So I bought those. And then also from Walmart, I got a pack, a double pack of the Colgate um, Optic White. And the reason why I bought this was my husband wanted it, so I just got a double pack so he could have a tube and I could have a tube. And um, we have been using it. You can definitely tell that there's a lot of um, baking soda in this. So if you're not a fan of baking soda, I wouldn't get this because it definitely has that grit to it. But anyway, we got that. This right here is a repurchase. Um, this is the Maybelline Age Rewind um, Eye Brightener. It says Erase Dark Circles, and it is the, um, the brightening one, the brightening illuminator. I've used several of these. I like this. Um, I haven't had one in a while, and I was wanting to get another one because I like it that much, so that was a repurchase. This right here is a new item that I decided to try. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And it's in the orange tube right here. I've been using it, so that's why it's out. It's uh, in the color Very Black. It's supposed to give you 10 times the volume. It's okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to repurchase it, but I'm definitely going to use it. I do like the... Um, the wand on it because I like the fatter ones as opposed to the skinnier ones so I have that and let's see what else did I get from the drugstore okay one last item that I got from the drugstore from Walmart is this right here this is the Nivea men sensitive post shave balm that everybody's talking about it's supposed to be a good alternative or a good um, face primer Oh, my nose is itching. <laughs> I have been using it, and I will tell you that my opinion on it is that, yes, it does work as a primer. I feel that it's just a little bit drying. Um, I have dry skin, so I feel like it's a little bit drying. So if you have oily skin and you've been wanting to try like a lotion type primer but have been afraid of the oils in it, you might like this one just for the fact that it is a little drying. So I think it would definitely work really well during the um, summertime. You get a lot of product in this. You get 3.3 fluid ounces, and it was around $10. Um, it does have a men's scent to it, but once it kind of dries, you don't really notice it. So you're not going around smelling like you can smell, you know, aftershave. It is a lotion. And it just takes a very little bit of this product, too. It doesn't take very much at all to do your whole face. So this is really going to last a long time. I bet you that's going to last like a, a year. You're probably going to get tired of it before it goes away. But that's the consistency of it. It's just a very thin, and it just smooths over, and it dries really quick. You don't have to wait a long time for a dry down before you can put your makeup on. And... 
I mean, to me, it works. It's just as good as any other primer. Actually, I think it works just as good as this one from Chanel that I bought, which was the Base Lumiere Illuminating Makeup Base. Um, it doesn't have any illuminating properties, but as far as the um, wear time of your makeup, I think they work exactly the same. Um, this was 40 something dollars, where you know the Nivea was $10. So, definitely, as much as I love Chanel, after I use this up, I'm not going to be buying this again. I'm going to stick with the Nivea. So, anyway, see, so it's already dried down and just smooth. But like I said, it is a little drying, so if you have really, really dry skin, you may not like that. Okay, so that was the only things that I bought at Walmart. All those things came from Walmart. And then I placed two different orders on Sephora, and I ordered a couple of items from the Gwen Stefani line. Uh, she came out, or Urban Decay released some more products from the line. I have the eyeshadow palette, which I love, and I actually am wearing on my little eyeballs right now. And so I had to get this little guy here, which is the blush palette. Here's the box, the packaging, that's the same as the eyeshadow palette. You know, it has the little polka dots. It's so cute. I don't know why she couldn't have done her other her packaging in these pink and white polka dots. That would be really cute. But anyway, the um, blush palette looks like this here. It's in the white. Um, the eyeshadow palette's in the gold and black, and this is in the white and gold. Oops, I dropped that. And it looks like this here. Some pretty, pretty colors. Um, this one right here I'm using as a highlight. And then these two right here. Am I in the right spot? Yeah, these two right here I have on as my blush. So, very versatile. Um, I think this color right here would be the only color that I may not really use that much. I just don't know. It's a peach, but it's like a really light, light peach. And I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe they might make a really pretty eyeshadow, though. That's it right there. I don't think you're going to be able to even see that at all. That peach color. I don't think my camera's focusing. Maybe. Anyway, so I did get this. It's very pretty. I like it. Um, to be honest with you, do I have these colors already in my blush drawer? Sure, I do. Um, nothing really, you know, that special about it other than it was geared, you know, and curated from Gwen Stefani. And I wanted it because I wanted it to go with the eyeshadow palette just wanted the collection and then the other two items that I ordered from the Gwen Stefani collection was a lip liner and a lipstick and I bet you can't guess what color I got yeah anyway I did get the lip liner in the color 714 which um, I have found out is her area code again got the cute little packaging the gold and white packaging with the little pink polka dots pink and white or the pink background and light polka dots. It's just so cute. And even the packaging, the lip liner looks like the outside of the packaging. Really pretty. And this is the long wear lip liner. And there's the color there. I don't have it on. I should have wore this today, but I was wearing a little bit of a cranberry shirt today, so I wanted my lipstick to match a little better to my shirt. And then the lipstick was, again, the 714, her area code. And this one is a matte one. She had different colors and different formulas in the line. And this was the one. I had gotten a sample of it, and I liked it. And um, I was trying to say it, see if I could tell what, what it was. I'm pretty sure it's a matte looks like that right there and it wears pretty good too well I feel so nasally I feel like I'm sound horrible but there's that so those were the items that I ordered from Sephora and then uh, because I did two different orders I did that so I could use two different promo codes to get a couple of items to try 
One was this here from uh, Bumble and Bumble. This is the BB Curl style. It's supposed to be a primer that you put on your hair um, after you've shampooed it and it's a little damp and it's supposed to detangle. And then it's also supposed to be like a style revitalizer. I haven't used it yet, but it was um, a free little code that you put in with a $25 order, got that. And then the other one that I did was from Smashbox. And this is a, and the next item that I put a code in for was from Smashbox. And this is a new, it's a photo finish primer oil. So, and it's a pretty good size sample. I mean, that's, that's a lot. That's going to last a long time. I'll try it. So I wanted to give it a go try it and then a hundred point perk was this living proof perfect hair day this you're supposed to put this is the nightcap overnight perfecter after you have shampooed your hair you put this in and leave it in overnight like an overnight mask for your hair so I wanted to give that a go Let's see if I can get that to focus for you And then um, a few samples. I didn't get three samples with each order because there just wasn't anything that I was that interested in. Um, one of them was these two from Kate um, Somerville. This is the um, anti-aging sensitive skin um, anti-wrinkle serum. So I got two of those because I got it in each order. And um, there was something else that I got, but I guess they didn't have it because they sent me this, which is the Ulta Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. And I don't ever um, get these because I have a big tub thingy of this that I just don't need. I'm trying to see if that's focusing. Anyway, so that was it for the samples. So anyway, that is it for the items that I purchased um, during the month of January. Um, thank you so much for joining me today in this video, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.